Hi, this is Tony. Are you the proud new owner of a black and tan coonhound puppy? Or a black and tan coonhound adult dog? They're wonderful dogs, aren't they? Great to have around. They make wonderful pets. When you initially get them, though, you may find that you're going to have some potty training issues. That's to be expected when you get a new puppy. And also to be expected is that we are not equipped necessarily to know how to do this. So we need resources. And you're looking at a resource right now, this website, where you can come and get a free mini course that will teach you some information and give you some uh, insight into how to potty train your black and tan coonhound puppy. Did you just find another puddle in your house? Or did you walk into the living room and discover a pile of poop? Do you feel like you are spending all of your time taking the dog outside or cleaning up messes in the house? You are not alone, but you do not need to be in this situation. Your puppy or adult dog can be fully potty trained and you can be free of cleaning up accidents all the time. Puppies under six months of age are not fully developed and will have trouble being able to hold their urine and feces. However, if you learn to know when they are likely to potty, you can anticipate their needs and get them out to a potty place at the right time. Does your dog always use the same area in the yard for his pottying needs? If not, you may need to start over on training him where to potty. Put his leash on him when you take him out and always take him to the same area. Always use a word such as business as a buzzword to let him know what you want him to do. Stand still and hold the end of the leash so he cannot investigate the entire area, but is limited to a specific spot. And do not let him play until he has pottied. Does your dog only have occasional accidents? First make sure he does not have any health problems. A trip to your vet may be in order. Then try to understand when he has his accidents, 30 minutes after eating, while he is playing, right after he gets up, or is released from his crate, when greeting people, etc. Does your dog only mess when you leave him alone? Does he only do it in a certain room of the house? Does he mark your furniture? Learn what causes these behaviors and how to work with your puppy or adult dog to solve the problem. If you work and must leave your dog at home for long hours, you need to learn how to effectively crate train your dog as well as how to successfully potty train him so that he always eliminates in the appropriate place at the appropriate times. Potty training, like all other types of dog training, involves positive reinforcement. Learn how to deal with accidents appropriately, appropriately without hitting your dog or making a big deal out of it. That's not going to work. Some breeds are easy to house train as they, are, they don't like for their living quarters to be messy or smelly, or they really like to please their owners. Other breeds are more difficult to housebreak. Others may take a special type of housebreaking. However, with patience and persistence, your dog can be house trained. Some of the basics of potty training. It is important for your dog to have an established routine and for you to be consistent in your expectations of him. The easy way to look at the routine you need to establish is that at any time there is a break during the day or a change of direction in your dog's day, take the dog to his potty place. Five keys to your success are when your dog gets up, take him to the potty place. Feed your dog on a regular schedule, which will eventually be twice a day, about 10 to 12 hours apart. After he eats or drinks anything, take him to the potty place. After your dog plays or exercises, take him to the potty place. Withhold water for two to four hours before your dog goes to bed. Just prior to going to bed, take him to the potty place. Now what I'd like for you to do is come to this site. I'm going to leave a link below the video. You're going to scroll down, you're going to enter your name, your dog's name, and your email address. Click subscribe, and they're going to send that free mini course directly to your inbox, as well as other information and uh, tips and strategies and nutritional needs for your new dog. This has been Tony. I want to thank you for listening today.